This has been criticized by a lot of Western <laughs> countries a lot, even though uh, all the parliament members in the UK have to pledge allegiance to the Queen before they became a member. And also, I mean, America has over 20 uh, laws that about national security. So, but when Hong Kong requires patriots governing Hong Kong, suddenly became an issue. Well, it's very simple. I got asked a lot from foreign media. I mean, if you don't want patriot running a city, do you want traders running a city? <laughs> I mean, it's, no, no one would accept traders to run and uh, any city. I mean, it, it shouldn't even be an issue of discussion. It's just that. Uh, from their perspective, they have a lot of foreign representatives used to be in the chamber yelling their slogans and stuff like that. And now it seems to be impossible. So it sort of stopped their, uh, stopped their point of interest. That's why they're not very happy about it. And that's why they've been talking about a lot of things. I think we, we've, we are a nation of being nice. I mean, the Chinese are always about being polite to people, trying to be more respective and don't make any arguments because we try to be nice. But I think it's about time to change. I mean, <laughs> after all this pushing it around and things like that, I mean, all of those lies, I mean, just basically were pulled out. And that's why, well, recently we have this uh, white paper just issued about the Hong Kong democracy. I, I, I strongly recommended everyone to actually look at this because this is the whole genuine story on our progress and why we need some of the changes. And I think every city needs to be running their most suitable way for their own city and don't just copy and paste from anybody else because it's just different we have different culture we have different different sets of values and stuff like that why are we why do we have to follow the big brothers the so-called big brothers that never look, takes care of you i mean i mean so just, just don't <laughs> just look at yourself i mean you're from you're, you're chinese you're from china and we are running pretty well look at the COVID situation i had an assistant she used to work with me because she's on her gap year and it's just too dangerous to go back to the uk and well because she still have one year to go so she just went back recently and she texted me last night she said i got COVID. <laughs> she got three injections she got two injections in, in 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 hong kong and then one more injections in um in the uk but she's got COVID. i mean the COVID rates look at the numbers like it's just not enough protections for everyone and they're not really looking from the perspective of truly serving the people of the city. They're just looking at trying to do a lot of um, name callings and, and doing all that. But why don't you spend more time, less time in Hong Kong and just just be, be nice to your own people and, and, and try to solve issues? I mean, you can't shy away from, from what your people are actually looking at. I mean, there's a lot of issue that values their time, but they waste all their time on us. Why? <laughs> so just, yeah. <laughs> But do you think uh, if the government requires only patriots can govern Hong Kong, does that mean all politicians, every one of you would just bluntly follow whatever the leader asks you to do and all of you can no only way. have one <laughs> voice? Nice. No way. Um, I got I got question like because I used to be quite um a lot of the very um what what they call the deep bluer don't really like me because I criticize the government sometimes quite a bit. I mean, I guess sometimes when I on, on my on, online commentator, they're like, "Oh, this, this is no good because you always criticize the government." And here I I am. I'm gonna be a legislator. I'm gonna keep on criticizing them if they're not doing it right. Um, I think for Patrick running Hong Kong, why we need to specify on it is because we do have a lot of traders trying to run Hong Kong. And as the previous um, elections that uh, campaign, the opposition was saying, well, we're going to enter the legislative council and paralyze the whole government. Why? I mean, if you have truly genuinely love Hong Kong as what they say, you want to use your power to change it better not to destroy the city, but look at what they have been doing for the past two years. They're just trying to do whatever they want. And when things happen, they flee. They went to the UK, they went to the American, America, and then they, they left their brothers and sisters in Hong Kong, telling them lies and make them commit 
uh, crime and then just leave them behind. And that is the true story of Hong Kong. What has been happening? So I I, I encourage all the all the people that don't really understand Hong Kong situation, open up your eye and look at what they they have been doing. It's not as pretty as what they say or what they call they are. I went to Hong Kong before, and you you will notice there's a misunderstandings be between the young people in Hong Kong and in the Chinese mainland.、Uh, for example, of course, there are a lot of people from Hong Kong that、uh, understands the culture,、mm. the political system in the、mm. mainland. But of course, there are many、uh, prejudices.、Uh, for example, some young、mm. people from Hong Kong still think if one, once they cross the border to the Shen, to Shenzhen, their kidney will be stolen or something. <laughs> so I mean, just、mm. so why there's a huge difference between understanding in Hong Kong. In mainland and in the Western countries. So I'm not proud, but 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 I was one of them, right? Because I was educated in Hong Kong, and that's what the media taught us to think about, you know,、uh, uh, the mainlanders, you know, and 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 I think, you know, throughout the past twenty odd years,、um, the the thing that I observe, right, as a Hong Kong citizen and as as someone who was born in Hong Kong, lived in Hong Kong before, but now in mainland, is that I think I think. Twenty odd years ago,、uh, the way that Hong Kong see mainlander is that we we don't we 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 don't necessarily look up to mainlander、uh, across the border,、um, and 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 you know we we somewhat despise them because of what the media taught us to do. And then throughout this incredible progress of that twenty years in mainland, particularly you know looking across the border in Shenzhen, right? I I think somehow. I I see this called perspective change, right? You know, people in Shenzhen kind of now look down on Hong Kong people. <laughs> they, they they somehow think, you know, what what, what do you have yeah, to be okay, so proud、yes. of? Yeah, right. What what are you so proud of, right? Because when when you look at Shenzhen, the standard of living, right, the true democracy, right, people's standard of living, people way of living are improving significantly. They don't focus on process, but they focus on results, right? They focus they focus on every single day life. So so there's this huge misunderstanding, unfortunately. Unfortunately, there's there's this huge misidentification that is happening between people from Hong Kong and mainland. I I personally think there should be less uh, uh you know conversation and dialogue and shouting match about ideology, but focus more on stories, right? You know, focusing on on, on the amazing stories that's happening. You know, regardless of whether you're from Shenzhen or Hong Kong or you're from anywhere in mainland, there's a lots of、uh, incredible stories, entrepreneurship story. There's a lot of stories, you know,、uh, about people, you know, spending a lot of time in in, in rural areas and witnessing the tremendous pro. Progress of you know poverty eradication and、uh, alleviation. Those are incredible stories we can focus on, as opposed to ideo-、uh, ideology, as opposed to just narrow down everything to communism and socialism and capitalism. I think there can be more friendly conversation. I I I, I think uh and and that's why I I truly believe uh and have faith in patriots governing Hong Kong. We can make now progress.、Mm. We can have more. Better conversation as opposed to fighting each other, but working towards a common goal. Uh, uh, you know, talking about Greater Bay Area, incredible opportunities to solve a lot of societal issues. Whether it is you know about jobs, right? Whether it, it is about you know you know places to live, etc. And and I, I'm I'm going to end or conclude with this is that you know the the way I I kind of. Understand this is Hong Kong people need to start understanding that we are a part of China, not just literally understanding as a. I think a lot of people do, but embracing the fact that we are part of China, we can have a life, we can have a career, we can be educated anywhere in China. I think as long as you, I think as soon as we we start thinking as such, we suddenly realize the opportunity is immense. We can be a part of you know 1.4 billion population,、mm-hmm. you know, which have you know have done incredible things throughout the past forty and 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 more so years,、mm-hmm. and and I think a lot of people are still stuck on that that we are different, we are exceptional, <laughs>、um, and 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 that's not helping.、Mm-hmm. Um, I I think it, it, it's it's not just about understanding and knowing. I think it's about embracing. It's about you know not not just words, but but putting it into action. Right, stepping foot and and seeing it for yourself, what what has it been? And and I think that's what driven me. Now I'm in Beijing.、Mm. Uh, you know, I I I first stepped foot on on Mainan. I was unsure, but as as you know, 
the, the more I talk to people, the more I understand uh, uh, what, what it is really about. Um, I end up living here for five years now. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs>